Today I'm going to show you how I joined these two yarns without having any ends to weave in. And I didn't even have any ends to trim. That's right, I did not break out a pair of scissors to make this knot. That makes it a little bit different than the Russian join, but it gives a similar effect. And this knotting method is a little tricky, so let me just show you first how it's done and then we'll break it down. I'm going to demonstrate with two different colors of yarn. Ta-da! Magic, right? So let me show you exactly how it's done. You're going to pinch the two yarns in your thumb and forefinger with a tiny little bit sticking out the top. Then with one of the strands, wrap around your thumb twice. And then lay that strand in front of your two little ends. Then tuck them down behind the strand. Inch the loops up to the tip of your thumb and pull. The first strand should recoil first and then the second one. And if all goes well, you'll have your little knot. Now this method of knotting is absolutely not foolproof. So now I'm gonna insert some clips of all the times I messed up. And as frustrating as that was, I did some troubleshooting and I think I figured out what was going wrong all those times. It's all about when you wrap the yarn around your thumb twice. The key is to make sure that the first strand you wrap is underneath the second strand. So that when you pull on the yarn, the loop closest to the tip of your thumb is the one that tightens first. Here's a little clip of me doing it the wrong way. When I wrapped the yarn the second time, I went under my first loop and it should be over. So wrap the yarn once, wrap again so that the second wrap is on top of the first one, and pull. So I hope this knotting method works for you and I hope you give it a try. And if you can master it, maybe it'll help you avoid weaving in some pesky ends on your next project. And if anybody knows what this knot is called, please comment down below, cause I have no idea. Thanks for watching, bye.